are worthy, O oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, O oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, O oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, O oh Lord, you are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. Our Father and our God, the ancient of days, the I am that I am, the God of all great things, God who is great and great to be praised, we thank you for bringing us to this day. We have been results of your mercy and grace. If not for your mercy, if not for your grace, we would have been lost. But thank you for upholding us, for keeping us, for watching over us, and for watching over your word to bring to performance in our lives. Thank you for bringing us to the altar again tonight. This is where there is blessing, there is power, there is anointing, there is goodness, there is upliftment, there is breakthrough, there is deliverance, there is victory for us. So with Jesus, we thank you. And all that you have in mind for us on this altar tonight, we receive with great thanksgiving. Thank you, Jesus, because our minds are ordered to receive the fullness of your intentions for us tonight. Blessed be your name forever, O God. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Dear friends, you are welcome once again to the altar of intimacy. Jesus has been waiting for us, and he is glad that we have, we've made it again to this altar tonight. I want to believe that daily as you've been showing up at this altar, your lives have been blessed and has been increased. And I'm sure that tonight it shall be in a new dimension because the glory of the Lord shall be made revealed beyond you have ever imagined or expected in the name of Jesus. So can I implore you quickly, click on the share button to invite your friends, your families to join you on this altar while you should also click on the like button so as to help the video to reach more people then on the comment section make sure you keep making declarations in the comment section as we proceed in the prayers tonight you're welcome on board and the lord bless you in the name of jesus so tonight by the grace of god we are going to be singing and praying from psalms 58 from psalms 58 through psalm 63 from Psalm 58 through Psalm 63. And we trust the Holy Spirit divine to help us tonight in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. All right, so we start from Psalm 58 tonight. Psalm 58 was, or Psalm 58 is believed, is believed to have been written by King David. It's believed to have been written by King David when he was, he was, um, considered a fugitive he was considered a fugitive who was seeking for refuge from one place to the other due to the persecution of King Saul due to the persecution of King Saul and this psalm in itself is titled do not destroy this psalm is titled do not destroy and it suggests that there was the specific incidents of injustice or oppression at this point in time. Now, King David was so frustrated and he prayed out of this frustrated heart unto God that God should break the teeth of the wicked and he should pluck out the tongue of the deceitful. And I so believe that you would also be able to pray like that tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, King David believes that no matter what he, he have had to go through, God will still deliver him and he will eventually punish the wicked 
and uphold the rights of the of the innocents. So tonight, are you also under one form of frustration or the other? I, does it seem as though those that are more powerful than you are, are, are have they, they, they have pursued you and they have kept you in a straight? And it seems as though you are, you, are, you are so worried and you could not even speak forth to anybody. As you speak forth to the Lord on this altar tonight, as you speak forth to the Lord on this altar tonight, as we pray from this Psalm 58, the Lord will hear you from heaven. In the mighty name of Jesus, he will hear you from heaven. And he will send you great deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. I say we hear you from heaven and he will send you great deliverance in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. So go to the chat box now, everybody, and put it there. The Lord will send me great deliverance. Put it there. The Lord shall send me great deliverance. The Lord shall send me great deliverance. Put it in the chat box. The Lord shall send me great deliverance. Yes, the Lord shall send me great deliverance. And so I declare ahead of time, as you pray tonight, the Lord will send you great deliverance. He will deliver you from the hands of those that have continued to pursue you without relenting. In the name of Jesus. Oh, can I declare tonight? I have the urge in my spirit to declare right now from this altar. I declare, standing on the authority of the living God, the Lord shall break the backbone of your enemies. As I hear in the spirit, I declare. And that is the word for somebody on this altar. I said, the Lord shall break the backbones of your enemies, your assailants, your oppressors, your afflictors. The Lord breaks their backbones in the name of Jesus. Can I hear you say loud, Amen? Go to the chat box and drop your amen. Let it be loud. Let it be loud. Amen. Amen. The Lord breaks the backbone of our enemies. Amen. In the name of Jesus. All right. So let's pray from Psalm 58. Psalm 58. Do you indeed speak righteousness, O congregation? Do you judge uprightly, O ye sons of men? Yeah, in art ye walk wickedness. Ye weigh the violence of your hands in the earth. The wicked are estranged from the womb. They go astray as soon as they be born, speaking lies. Can you imagine? Their poison is like the poison of a serpent. They are like the deaf, the dead of Adam that stopped are here. Which will not hearken to the voice of charmers. Charming never so wisely. So will you also be able to raise your voice tonight and say, Break their teeth, O God. In their mouth, break out. The great teeth of the young lions, O oh Lord. Let them melt away as waters which run continually. When he bended his bow to shoot his arrows, let them be as caught in pieces. As a snail which melted. Let every one of them pass away like the untimely birth of a woman that they may not see the sun. Before your pots can fill the thorns, it shall take away them as with a whirlwind, both living and in his rots. The righteous shall rejoice when he see the vengeance. You will see the vengeance over your enemies in the name of Jesus. 
I said you will see the vengeance of God over your enemies in the mighty name of Jesus. They thought they've got you. They thought they've swallowed you. They thought their teeth is sharpened enough to destroy you. But it's a lie. Vengeance will arise upon them in the name of Jesus. Don't forget the last three days on this altar is the night of missiles. The night of missiles. Don't forget. Plan from now. The night of missiles. The, th the last three nights. It's going to be hot. It's going to be powerful. Ah, The righteous shall rejoice when he sees the vengeance. He shall wash his feet in the blood of the wicked. Ah, I declare over you today. Those who thought they, they have destroyed you. Those who thought there is that your end is here already. After you have conquered them, you will use their blood as water to wash your feet. Eh? That means you will have the last laugh. I say you will have the last laugh over your enemies. In the name of Jesus. These are not my words. These are the words of Yahweh Elohim, the Lord God that he have declared from the mouth of his prophet, King David. Amaro Shaka, Patesu Urianda. Eh, Barado Suprakanama, Nasutea. So that a man shall say, Verily, there is a reward for the righteous. Verily, he is a God that judges in the earth. Raise up your voice tonight. Wherever you are, raise up your voice. Oh Lord, break the teeth of the strong people against me. Break the teeth of the strong people against me. Break the teeth of my enemies. Break their teeth. 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 Shigudia Malagaba. Scopa take a leko ruku pussy kete libanati. Break the teeth of my enemies. A cruel yaba shalabake ponota. Imbrokete susikitili anama. Break the teeth of my enemies. Let them melt away as the waters. Let them melt away as the waters. Kapazuziata, Grino Poshikete, Grene Koto Bakata, Brilia Shalabanana Mana. Let them melt away as the waters. Let them melt away as the waters. Let my enemies, my assailant, my afflictors, my oppressors, let them melt away as the waters. Lord, break them, cut them into pieces when they want to shoot their arrows. When they want to shoot their arrows against me, against my beloved, against all that pertains to me, against all that connected that is connected to me. Break them in pieces, shatter them in pieces, scatter them in pieces in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, so shall it be. I declare upon this altar tonight, as many that have vowed that until they see your hand, they will not relent. I declare from this altar, the living oracles of God, with the fiery furnace of the Holy Ghost, and I declare, you will see their hand. I say in the name of Jesus, you will see their end. They will melt away. I say they will melt the way. They will be broken in pieces. They will be shattered in pieces. They will be put to shame. Their teeth are broken. In the name of Jesus. Can you put it in the chat box? My enemy shall melt away. 
Yes, put it in the chat box. My enemies shall melt away. These are not my own words. These are the words of God. These are the words of God revealed, established forever. Oh God, your word is said to be established in Psalms 58. Oh, these are not these are not emotional prayers. These are not prayers from the flesh. These are prayers from the scriptures. So don't think anyone is just saying anything. These are the oracles of God. Break the teeth of my enemies, oh God. Have you dropped it in the comment section? So let's move on to the next psalm, Psalm 59. Now, this Psalm 59, of course, it is also in it is another psalm in the series of the Do Not Destroy Psalm. So you already have something in mind. This is one of the this is also one of the the last psalm we took was a do not destroy psalm. So this is also a do not destroy psalm. And it is also in the order of Miktam. And we said from the previous psalms we have taken, we took some yesterday, that Miktam in Hebrew means eating, secret. So this is a Miktam of David, which means that it was, it was, it was, it was a psalm written by David to his closest friend because at that point in time he could not show his face publicly because danger was looming over him it was still at a point in time when he was a fugitive due to the continued oppression and affliction of King Saul against him so in this psalm of course this is an eating psalm this is a secret psalm that David wrote to his friend, he expressed his anxiety, his fear, his concerns on why Saul continued to haunt him. Saul and his men continued to haunt him. And so he prayed to God for deliverance and for protection. Hallelujah. This psalm is possible to have been written after Saul had sent men to David's house to kill him in the night. Ah! What kind of level, what, what level of opposition is that? So David had just survived an assassination attempt. That, let's use it in the word that we can easily relate to it. He has just survived an assassination attempt when he wrote this psalm. And it was in a secret place hiding. You can read that from, from you can read that from First Samuel chapter nineteen, verse eleven to twelve. First Samuel chapter nineteen, eleven to twelve. So, but in spite of all of this, David put his trust in the Lord. He knew that his protection was in the Lord. Hallelujah! And he sought the face of God that the Lord should deliver us from his enemies. And truly, we can say now that the Lord delivered David from his enemies. It does not matter the level of assassination that is against you. Either physical assassination, psychological assassination, character assassination, relationship assassination, whatever level of assassination, the Lord will deliver you. According to the word of the Lord in Psalm 59 verse 1, I said the Lord will deliver you in the name of Jesus. So let's pray with this psalm. Let's sing this psalm, Psalm 59. Deliver me. Uh, deliver me from my enemies. Oh my God, defend me from them that rise up against me. Deliver me from the workers of iniquity. And save me from bloody men. Amania ta kopa shele kepa na hati. E kuri lebo ro sumro kopa le koto bragi adama ne kate yane. Shele kopa osuri apa iye ke do sumbra katane na manama. E la kapa to sumbri ke teli marando sheke pano rianda. Listen to me, you are on this altar. They sent an house help that you hired to you. Oh, 
to, to wreck and havoc in your household. I stand upon the rock of ages right now. And I neutralize the abilities and, capa and capabilities of that house. Shekapata. Enotoskia. Totu palikudi. Seleri hambaka. I say I neutralize the powers, the abilities, the capabilities of that house. Help. Hey! You won't be able to carry through that evil device. Ah, uh, so shall it be. Somebody run to the chat box right now. Run to the chat box right now. Everybody and put it there. Deliver me from my enemies, oh God. Put it in the chat box. Put it in the chat box. Deliver me from my enemies, oh God. Deliver me from my enemies, oh God. Ah, the Lord is giving me another clarity about somebody. Somebody on this altar. You have once still on house help matter. You have once had an house help. You eventually discovered that that house help has been hypnotized. Is under the, is under a spiritual remote control. You sent the house help away, but the house help has already planted a seed in your house. I stand upon the rock of ages today, and I declare in the name of Him who sent me. Yahweh Elohim, the Lord of hosts, I declare right now that seed has implanted dies. Amako Suteya Rekes Punieta. I say that seed dies by fire in the name of Jesus. That started growing, it dies from the roots. You are God. You are God. You will always be God. You were God, you are God, you will always be God. Let's go on. We have 17 verses to cover. Verse 3 now. For lo, they lie in wait for my soul. The mighty are gathered against me. Not for my transgression, oh, not for my sin, oh Lord. They run and prepare themselves without any fault, without my fault. Awake to help me and be out. Thou, therefore, oh Lord God of hosts, ah, the God of Israel, awake to visit all the Eden. Be not merciful to any wicked transgressions. To wicked transgressors. Can you pray? Can you pray? Oh Lord of hosts. Visit the hidden. With the wickedness of their wickedness. Ah. Visit ones with the wickedness of their wickedness. Oh Lord of hosts, arise, visit the wicked ones that are against me. Visit them with the wickedness of their wickedness. Visit the wicked that are against me. Visit the wicked that are vowed to stand against me. Visit them with the wickedness of their wickedness. Visit them with the wickedness of their wickedness. Visit them with the shamefulness of their wickedness. Visit them, oh God, with the shamefulness of their wickedness. Visit the wicked with the wickedness of their wickedness. Abrukia to Barosia. 
Shkepeleke polo kopate le korosu tikete na leke para tapaya kapana tozo poko shikete le grano topo na zuprenata. This is the wicked with the wickedness of their wickedness. In the name of Jesus, I stand upon this altar tonight and I declare upon you all those that are vowed to be wicked to you. The Lord of us arise tonight and visit them before the breaking of the dawn. Before the breaking of the dawn, like he visited the house of Egypt and the household of Pharaoh with the wickedness of their wickedness before the breaking of the dawn. I declare from this altar, before the breaking of this dawn, the Lord of hosts shall visit the house, the household of the wicked ones against you with the wickedness of their wickedness in the name of Jesus. Go to the chat box and put it. The Lord visits the wicked with their wickedness. The Lord visits the wicked with their wickedness. The Lord visits the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of hosts visits the wicked with their wickedness. Ah. Kudina ko ba no sundi karada. Eya bananda nda kuri neke shikuri anda poko supri katele yanana. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the Lord of hosts. The great warrior, Apaka Palata. Alleluia. Shilina Mano Maniana. Alleluia. You are the mighty warrior. You have never lost a battle. Alleluia. Alleluia. You are the mighty God. The great I am. Alleluia. Alleluia. Ah, you will see the Lord at work tonight. Hey, they are in trouble. Yes, they are in trouble. They are in trouble. And they get a super kata. Let's go. They return at evening. That's verse 6. They return at evening. They make a noise like a dog. They go around about the city. They say, I want to spoil your name. Uh, behold, they bitch out with their mouth. Swords are in their lips. For who say they dot here? Uh, but thou, O oh Lord, shall laugh at them. Thou shalt have all the eating in derision. Akapanata. Because of his strength will I wait upon thee. For God is my defense. Yes. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see my desire upon my enemies. Wait. Can I quickly ask a question? Who is that person that said Christians should not take some kind of prayers? Who is that person that said Christians should not take violent prayers. Who, who, who preached that deception to us? Who, who preached that deception to us? And then made the enemies to, to always have a dinner party over Christians. Who? That deception must not hold sway again. If our father is the Lord of hosts, the title, that name is not just a title. It is an action. You don't call somebody commander-in-chief. You don't call somebody generalissimo if the person does not fight battle. So if you say the Lord of hosts, you are calling him the commander-in-chief of the hosts. The owner of the hosts. So if your father is a generalissimo, 
and they are telling you not to fight a battle because your father can forgive. Don't you think you are a bastard? Ah, I stand upon this altar tonight and I declare in the name of him who is the Lord of us. Whatever is your desire, whatever is the desire you have to see upon your enemies, you will see your desire over your enemies. In the name of Jesus, for my father, my own father is the Lord of hosts. I am Kopanata. Listen to me. After this 30 nights, this 30 nights of Psalms and tongues, by the grace of God, we are going to be having prayer meetings every Saturday morning. Every Saturday morning, two hours of intense prayers. And we are going to see the Lord of hosts, the man of war in action. So go and mark your calendar. A prayerless Christian is a prey already to the enemies. They will feed on your flesh. They will, they will call for a party with your blood. I preach grace, but I preach war too. Because my father is he, is the combination of all. He has grace, he has war, he has battle, and he has peace. If you want peace, we give you peace. If you want violence, we give you violence. The God of my mercy shall prevent me. God shall let me see the desire, my desire upon my enemies. In the name of Jesus. Slay them not. Lest my people forget. Scatter them by their power, by thy power. And bring them down. Oh Lord, our shield. Ah, you know what the psalmist is saying there? Lord, let them die slowly. <laughs> hey! I, I, am not, I am not disappointed that the one who wrote this psalm is a military commander. Don't kill them once. But let them be die small, small. Scatter them by thy power and bring them down. Uh, why? So that the people will not forget in time. They will not forget in time. But so far they are dying slowly. People will be seeing them and they will be shaking head for them and be saying, ah, oh, if they had known, they would not have done this against Adiola. Yes. I declare in the name of Jesus, your enemies will die slowly. They will die slowly. They will be incapacitated. Oh, what a night. What a night. What a night. For the sin of their mouths and the words of their lips, let them even be taken in their pride and for cursing and lying which they speak. Consume them in rot. Consume them that they may not be and let them know that God ruled in Jacob unto the ends of the earth. Burst into prayer somebody. Lord consume my enemies in your rod. Lord consume the evil doers in your rod that they may know that there is a God over my life. That they may know that there is a God in charge of my destiny. That they may know that there is a God in charge of my glory. That I am not alone. That they may know that you have called me. All those that have stood against me, stand against my career, stand against my life, speaking against my ministry, thinking they are wise, devising falling for me. Arise, O oh God, consume them in your wrath. Consume them in your wrath. Put them to shame. Put them to shame. Put them to shame. Embaradosha, Kapas of Pregariana, in the Nato Palate, consume them in your rod, Yeshua. A capota, Reketo Supacati, Nemocombo Suriate Shelegada. I issued that decree from, to, from this altar. Your enemies are consumed in the rod of God. I say your enemies are consumed in the rot of Yahweh. He who is the Lord of us consumes your enemy in his rot. 
in the name of Jesus. Amanatopaka. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. Wherever you are, raise your voice. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. He who dwells in the midst of the cherubims. Shine on. I'll sing a song in my mother tongue. The interpretation will show up on your screen. So that those of you who do not understand my mother, mother tongue, you can understand. But the song means that the Lord is a warrior. And the Lord is his name. The Lord is a warrior. He's a man of war. And the Lord is his name. Ologun Lolua. Ologun Lolua. Oluwa ni oru kore Ologun loluwa Ologun loluwa Ologun loluwa Oluwa ni oru kore Ologun loluwa Let me try the English interpretation The Lord is a man of war The Lord is a man of war the Lord is his name. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord is a man of war. Ah, I love that. Let's do it again. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord of hosts is his name. The Lord is a man of war. He will prove himself as a man of war in your life. I say, we show up mightily as a man of war. In the name of Jesus. Ah, we spend so much time on this psalm, but I'm happy we are praying. Can you quickly go to the chat box and put it there? The Lord is a man of war. Put it in the chat box quickly, quickly, quickly. Run, 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 run to the chat box. Don't be slow, don't be slow. Run to the chat box. The Lord is a man of war. 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 Now let's go on. Verse 14. And at evening, let them return. And let them make a noise like a dog. And go round about the city. Let them wander up and down. <laughs> for meat. And grudge if they be not satisfied. But for me, I will sing of thy power. Yea, I will sing aloud of thy mercy in the morning. For thou hast been my defense. And refuge in the day of my trouble. Unto thee, O my strength, will I sing, for God is my defense and the God of my mercy. Oh. After this battle is over, yes, you know yourself, the battle you are presently in the middle, presently. I also know myself. But by the time this battle, when the raging of this storm is over, you will stand and you will shout and declare, the Lord is my defense. Yes, you will stand and declare with a loud noise, the Lord is my defense. Can you do the result of what you will shout now? Go to the chat box and put it there, the Lord is my defense. The Lord is my defense. The Lord is my defense. Our time is fast spent. Let's move on to the next psalm. Put it in the chat box. The Lord is my defense. Don't stop writing. Don't stop writing. Don't be discouraged. Whatever you type there is your declaration. And what you declare is your expectation. Is your experience. Put it there. The Lord is my defense. The Lord is my defense. Yes, the Lord of hosts is my defense. He will defend you. I said the Lord of hosts will defend you. The Lord of hosts will fight your battles for you. He will defend you. In the name of Jesus. Don't worry. 
Ah, your testimony will be loud. Your story will be full. Don't forget, are you subscribed to Eat More Prayer House? Are you subscribed here to Eat More Prayer House? Do you still have some of your friends? You know, you know some of your friends that are going through some difficult times and you know that they need to pray. Invite them to join the Eat More Prayer House. They should subscribe to Eat More Prayer House and turn on the notification bell, all notifications, so that whenever anything is going on, they'll be alerted. Yourself, like the, like the video and share it across, across the world. I, we know you have been blessed on this altar. So don't keep this to yourself. Psalm 60. Psalm 60. This Psalm 60 is believed to have been written by King David still during his time as the king of Israel. And this one is said to the chief musician, set to Lily of the Testimony. <laughs> it is also a mid term. However, this is a teaching. This is a teaching. And it is believed that this psalm was written when David fought against Mesopotamia and Syria of Zobah. And when Joab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Are you familiar with your scriptures? Some of you are hearing these things for the first time. <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay. So, this provides us clues to the historical context. So, this miktam, of course, a secret, this secret and this eating thing suggests to us that this was written to a specific audience. That was David's closest friend. Don't forget it was also in the middle of a battle. But this time around, not against Saul. Amen. Hallelujah. It was when he fought against Mesopotamia and Syria of Zuba. Hallelujah. Now, this incident that prompted David to, to write this psalm makes David to express that the Lord is his comfort and his strength. And the Lord can be the comfort and strength of anyone who is also facing a difficult circumstances. Facing, facing difficult circumstances. Because David cried, save us and help us. Let us be delivered by your power. And you will be delivered by his power. In the mighty name of Jesus. I say you will be delivered by his power. In the mighty name of Jesus. It is also likely that this psalm was written when David engaged in the battle of Elam. When David engaged in the battle of Elam, when he defeated the Arameans and the Ammonites. You can check 2 Samuel chapter 8 from verse 3 to 14. 2 Samuel chapter 8 from verse 3 to 14. You can check that here you have the account of how David de de defeated the Arameans and the Ammonites. However, either the people of Mesopotamia, Syria, the Ammonites or the Arameans, the underlying factor is that this battle was written as a teaching to David's close friend in the middle of battle. And the Lord saved them. The Lord will save you too. In the name of Jesus. So let's pray for Psalm 60. Let's pray from Psalm 60. Let's pray from Psalm 60. Hallelujah. Yes. Oh God. Thou hast cast us off. Thou hast scattered us. Thou hast been displeased. Oh, turn thyself to us again. Thou hast made the heart to tremble. Thou hast broken it. Heal the breaches thereof, for it shaketh. Thou hast shewed thy people hard things. Thou hast made us to drink the wine of astonishment. Thou hast given a banner 
to them that fear thee, that it may be displayed because of the truth. Shepa takuye tele suprakane teleko parados kubreliandea greketos kupote telikus ketaya getelebando rake telus kepalana. Listen to me. When this is the middle of the night, when we, when suddenly you just see us blasting in tongues in the Holy Ghost. Do not keep your mouth shut because we are quickly dropping some reconfiguration in the atmosphere. Shaba Korea Faleta, the Kesopo Kalete Palahatina Dolosiandi, the Leko Shipuko Palete Lerianda Po Koriande Kesutika. Those of you who are doubting if tongues are real. If prayers in the Holy Ghost are real or not, listen to me. Oftentimes, the things you speak forth are things you do not understand. So, when you get into the middle, see, it is the language of battle. It is the language at the battlefield. Ayaka, palakus kehande. When you are in the middle of the battle and you do not understand again and you burst into tongues, the tongues you do not understand, you are, you are reconfiguring what the atmosphere you do not understand so that you can get a result that surpasses your understanding. Akranata palekus kele parandiha. Keleko poto suprinde keliande arukia pale supunite yande amaka pale kusukuria de ya shale kumbrondote imana na makomaneta. Let's go back to our song. Ah, so much deliverance in the house tonight. Power flowing everywhere. Angels of God moving around the world to administer to the needs of everyone on this altar and everyone who will come in contact with this video. Deliverance everywhere. Don't forget to share your testimony. Eat more Christian intervention at gmail.com. Eat more Christian intervention at gmail.com. If you want to give us video testimonies, just tell us through the email. Then we tell you the phone number with which you can send in your WhatsApp videos or whatsoever too. We know you have testimonies because God answers prayers on this altar. And you will share your testimonies too. Let's quickly go on to verse 5. We have 12 verses to cover. Quickly. That thy beloved may be delivered, save with thy right hand, and hear me. God has spoken in his holiness. I will rejoice. I will, I will divide shaking and meet out the valley of Sukkot. Gilead is mine, and Manasseh is mine. Ephraim also is the strength of my head. Judah is my lawgiver. Moab is my water pot. Over Edom will I cast out my shoe. Hey. Philistia triumph thou because of me. Who will bring me into the strong city? Who will lead me into Edom? Will not thou, O God, which has cast us off? And thou, O God, who did not go out with our armies, give us help from trouble. For vain is the help of man. True God, we shall do valiantly. For it is that shall tread down our enemies. This is a psalm of that fellow when you feel that the battle you are presently going through has almost overpowered you. This is where this is the this is the psalm you are expected to take. You see that the waters have almost swallowed you up. Rush to this Psalm 60 and take it. So wherever you are now, raise up your voice and declare, Lord, 
vain is the help of man. Oh. Help me to do valiantly. Vain is the help of man. Help me to do valiantly. Vain is the help of man. Help me to do valiantly. Are you praying already? Shkele, kara, tepa, dukuskena, andu puriande. Vain is the help of man, Yahweh. Help me to do valiantly. Kopana supuko falikiri ne moshinu kuriendeka. Vain is the help of man, Yahweh. Help me to do valiantly. Gradosko poto pulate. Rinete ko subrekete. Shalaka panate buli keto zukurinde. Riko supa taketoski priele. Shalaka pate keto polosi dianama. Vain is the help of man, Jesus. Help me to do valiantly. Vain is the help of man, Jesus. Help me to do valiantly. I stand upon this rock of ages and on this altar I declare Jesus is the rock of ages and from this altar, the altar of intimacy, of the Hitmo prayer house, I declare the Lord send you help and you will do valiantly. The Lord shall tread upon your enemies. I said the Lord shall tread upon your enemies. I said the Lord shall tread upon your enemies. You will sing the song of triumph over your enemies. You will do valiantly in the name of Yahweh Elohim. Hallelujah. Go to the chat box and put it there. I will do valiantly by the Lord. 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 Shikita ayanama. Bakaro suprakatayanama. I am not of a generation of the weaklings. I am not of a generation of the fearful. I am valiant in the Lord. I am valiant in the Lord. He will tread over my enemies. I am valiant in the Lord. I am valiant in the Lord. For he will tread over my enemies. I am not of a generation of the fearful. I am not of a generation of the weaklings. I am valiant in the Lord. I do valiantly in the Lord. For he will tread upon my enemies. Oh. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's go. Let's go on to the next psalm. Let's go on to the next psalm. The Lord will show up for you mightily. Oh. Let's go on to Psalm 61. Psalm 61. This is still a psalm of David. Written by David during his time as king over Israel. And there are some things that David wrote in this psalm that can give us a clue. A clue into the historical context. The psalm itself de describes David's feeling of despair and loneliness as he is forced to flee from his enemies. And so, yet his trust was in the Lord, so he asked God for deliverance and protection. There are some times in our lives that we have tried, we, we have gone confrontational. Sometimes we need to go defensive. It's part, it's part of military skills. 
And I've always told you, you are a soldier. You are on the battlefield. So David at this point in time, he had to flee from the sight of his enemies. That was defensive. The most likely historical event, yeah, was when, although David was a king, but affliction arose against him from his own house when the crown prince Absalom, he is Absalom, my Absalom, he often calls him, stood up against him and saw to it that David was exiled from Jerusalem. And so David turned unto God. I say, hear my cry, oh God, listen to my prayer. I am overwhelmed. Hear me. Are you also overwhelmed tonight? The Lord will hear you. You don't stop praying. See, listen. For the fact that you shot an arrow in Psalm 1 does not mean you should get to Psalm 10 and not shoot an arrow. You don't stop shooting. Don't stop shooting. I have told you on the battlefield, it is either you kill or you get killed. It is either you shoot an arrow or you receive an arrow. I say tonight, the Lord will hear you and deliver you. In the name of Jesus. So some scholars try to situate it that, okay, this Psalm 61 was at the point in time that David fled from the presence of his enemy because of Absalom and he was exiled in the land of Moab. Of course, because of Absalom, 2 Samuel chapter 15, 13 to 37. 2 Samuel chapter 15, verse 13 to 37. Now, this would mean that, of course, David was in despair and he was lonely. And other scholars believe that at this point in time, David, David was actually aging, but he was in the middle of political or military crisis. Either ways, it was in the middle of battle for David. It was a time that was not comfortable for him and he cried upon the Lord and the Lord had him. And the Lord will hear you too. I said, the Lord will hear you in the name of Jesus. Hey. I, I am not of a generation of the weakling. I am not of a generation of the fearful. I am valiant in the Lord. I am valiant in the Lord. For he will tread upon my enemies. I am valiant in the Lord. I am pakata. I am valiant in the Lord. For he will tread upon my enemies. Oh, Psalm 61, let's pray. Hear my cry. Oh God, attend unto my prayer. From the end of the earth will I cry unto thee. When my heart is overwhelmed, lead me to the rock that is higher than high. For thou hast been a shelter for me and a strong tower from the enemy. I will abide in thy tabernacle forever. I will trust in the covert of thy wings. For thou, O God, hast heard my vows. Thou hast given me the heritage of those that fear thy name. Thou will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. He shall abide before God forever. Oh, prepare mercy and truth which may preserve him. So will I sing unto thy name forever that I may daily perform my vows. Oh, dwelling in his presence. Abiding in his presence. 
dwelling under his shadow. In his presence there is power. Dwelling in his presence. Abiding in his presence. Feasting under his shadows. In his presence there is shelter. For it is so sweet to have a fellowship with the Father. It is so sweet to be in fellowship with the Son. And it is so blissful to all be in communion with the Spirit. This is a reality. Oh, it is our experience. Hey, this is a reality. Oh, this is our experience. Lift up your voice and say, Oh Lord, prolong my life. Don't let me die young. Matos yata garano shkepande leata. Lord, I have been fighting so many battles, but please prolong my life. Let me not die young. Raise up your voice. Raise up your voice. Prolong my life, Yeshua. Don't let me die young. King David, despite all the battles he went through, he still enjoyed long life because he prayed. He said in Psalm 61 verse 5, he said, Thou will prolong the king's life and his years as many generations. Don't let me die young, Jesus. Because it is, it is when you have long life that you can enjoy the blessings that come after fighting so many battles. Prolong my life, oh God. Do not let me die young. So I declare from this altar tonight in the name of him who is the resurrection and the life. It does not matter what covenant that is upon your head. It does not matter the appointment of death in your lineage. Over you, that appointment is broken. Now you will live long. You will not die young. In the name of Jesus. Ah, Matia Susia, Takro, Tescopa, Radosh, Lebana. Let's quickly move on to Psalm 62. We'll pray from there and we we'll close with Psalm 63. This Psalm 62 is also believed to have been written by King David during his time as king over Israel. And this Psalm sent to the chief musician is titled to the chief musician to Jeduthun a psalm of David and this already suggests some things to us Jeduthun is a Hebrew word, Hebrew word which means to praise it means to praise Jeduthun in Hebrew means to praise and this suggests to us already that this is a psalm for worship this is a psalm that expresses David's trust in God and, in, and his confidence that God will deliver him as always from all his enemies. The psalmist uses the metaphor of a rock to describe God as his strength and stability. And so he went ahead to worship God. He went ahead to adore God Despite the many times that David faced with opposition and danger during his reign, yet the Lord kept him. Although this Psalm 62 is believed that it's possible to have been written at the time that he fled from Absalom, as we have it in 2 Samuel chapter 15 that we already spoke about. But yet this Psalm is a Psalm of worship unto him. It's a Jethro 
you will also have your own Jedusan. You will sing praise unto God in the name of Jesus. So can we go to Psalm 62 now and sing this beautiful song of worship unto the Lord. Hallelujah. Truly my soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. Can we quickly go to the comment section now? Just put in the comment section. It is time for my Jeduthun. It is time for my Jeduthun. That's prophetic. That's prophetic. That's prophetic. Go there and put it there. It is time for my Jeduthun. Jeduthun is spelled as J E D U T H U N. J E D U T H U N. It is time for my Jeduthun. Yes, it is time for you to praise. And you will indeed praise. You will dance for joy. You will sing for joy. You will praise your way. Your gentle tongue will be full. Your praises shall be full. Ah. The song of joy shall be my hand The song of victory shall be my story. In the presence of my mockers and those that are against my progress, the problems of my life will disappear and never seen. Who will prophesy into your life like that? The song of joy shall spring forth in my hand. The song of victory shall be in the presence of my enemies and in the presence of my mockers. Problems of my life shall disappear and be no more. I declare over you today, you will sing at last. You will praise Jehovah at last. Those problems, conditions shall disappear and they shall be no more. For he who sits upon the throne shall wipe away your tears. Yes, he shall wipe away your tears. Hey. Hallelujah. Let's sing this song. Let's sing this song. Truly my soul waited upon God. I'm starting again from verse 1. My soul waited upon God. From him cometh my salvation. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be greatly moved. How long will he imagine mischief against a man? You shall be slain, all of you. Ah, I'm a Yoruba man. He's in the blood. All of you shall be slain. As a bowing wall shall you be. As a tottering fence. Hey. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. That is the work of the evil. They consult together. They call themselves together. People, people of, no, of no good meaning. When they see people sitting over a seat, they covet that seat and they don't pray to get there. They want to get there by tearing down and pulling down those people sitting on the seat of excellence. You want to lead, go and start a group. You want to be a king, go and start a territory. You want to be called a president, go and contest an election. You want to be a father. Go and marry and get somebody pregnant. You think all these things are easy? 
it is easy to sit in the seat of honor. But instead of you craving for something good, I'm not saying it's bad to be ambitious, but do it the right way. Don't do it by tearing down people in the seat of power, in the seat of excellency. Don't, don't think you can clinch honor by going about it the dishonored way. Honor is a language. Only the honorable understand it. And only the honorable speak it. You dishonor to get to a seat, you will leave that seat by dishonor. These are plain facts. Raw truth on the order of intimacy. You bring down somebody from the seat of excellency in despair, she will also go down the same way. These are not causes. These are the truths. Excellency is a lifestyle. Only the excellent live it. Look at the work of, the, of mean and mere men. No matter how much they have, they have intimidated and disturbed your life, try to pull you into reproach and ignominy, they will be put to shame. I say in the name of Jesus, they will be put to shame. Those who bless you, with their mouth and curse you inwardly. Those who are saying congratulations, but they are saying how I, inside their mind, they are saying how I wish I am the one who has this. And they are not praying, but they are doing everything possible to make it go worse and go sour for you. I share on this altar today, they will be put to shame as God lives. As God, you will see the manifestations of all these declarations. And once you see the manifestations, you share your testimonies with us. It's more Christian intervention at gmail.com. Oh. Go to the chat box and put it there. My enemies are in trouble. They are in serious trouble. They thought they have been doing it with others and they have been going with it. Over you, they have failed. They are in serious trouble. Serious quarter. Eh. Uh, we call it like that on the street. Serious quarter. Don't dig ground for them. They are in serious trouble. Ashkaba rabush. Itele rekedos. Abarakus kuplenegete. Verse 4. They, my enemies are in serious trouble. Have you dropped it in, in the comment section? Yes. Let's go on now. They only consult to cast him down from his excellency. They delight in lies. They bless with their mouth, oh, but they curse inwardly. Don't think you are the first person experiencing it. David also experienced it. Yet, my soul waits thou only upon God, for my expectation is from him. He only is my rock and my salvation. He is my defense. I shall not be moved. Relax. Is that okay, my friend? Look at the screen. Look at the screen. I'm talking to you as an issue. Don't worry. They have torn you apart. They have said a lot about you. They have, you are so disturbed. You are so frustrated. Look at me, hyper to hyper. Don't be disturbed. Just like David said, I shall not be moved. You will not be moved. As long as God is still on the throne, you will not be moved. Those connivers, those conspirators, they will be scattered in the places of their agreements. They are pitched against themselves because there is confusion in their midst already. Can I hear you say amen? Go to the chat box and drop your amen there. Amen. <laughs> Serious trouble night. Trouble for the troubler. Trouble. Yesterday was night of judgment. If you missed out on yesterday, Go back and stream it. There was so much judgment last night. And tonight is trouble for the troublers. Trouble for the troublers. <laughs> Don't forget the last three days on this altar is night of missiles. Night of missiles. Oh, shut up. In God is my salvation and my glory. 
the rock of my strength and my refuge is in God. Trust in him at all times, ye people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is a refuge for us. Think about it. It's a refuge for us. So each time you have the opportunity, like I'm going to give you time after it all tonight on this altar, you're going to pour out your heart unto the Lord. You pour out your heart unto the Lord. You ask for specific things and you will see the Lord bring them to pass. God is our refuge. Let's go on. Surely men of low degree are vanity. Yes, that is who they are. They are connivers. They are conspirators. They are, they are traitors. They are treacherous. They are betrayers. They are men of low degree. And men of high degree are a lie. To be laid in the, banner, in the balance, they are altogether lighter than vanity. See their life. They are lighter than vanity. They are lighter than paper. Trust not in oppression. And become not vain in robbery. If riches increase, set not your heart upon them. Wisdom. God has spoken once. Twice have I had this. The power belongs unto God. Also unto thee, O Lord, belong mercy. For thou render to every man according to his work. Now raise up your voice wherever you are. And declare, Lord, you have spoken once. Twice have I heard that all power belongs to you. Therefore, by your power, I am pouring my heart to you. I want you to do this for me. If indeed you are alive on the altar of intimacy, now leverage on the living God that is upon this altar. Yes, I am putting my anointing, I am putting the anointing of God upon my life on the line that you might know that there is a God in Israel hell. That you might know that there is a God on the altar of intimacy. Hey, pour out your heart unto God right now. I know of a God who does not lie. I know of a God who can do beyond expectations. I know of a God who can surpass your imaginations. I know of a God who can do exceedingly abundantly more than what you can ask or think according to his power that is at work in us. Can you put work in the power of God at work in you right now? Once have God spoken, twice have I heard that all power belongs to God. Can you pour out your mind unto him? Lord, this is it, oh. 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 If you are a prayer answering God, do that. You have just a, a, few, a few more seconds to do it. Be specific. Don't ask for vain things. Don't ask for light things. Pour it out to him on this altar. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. He will show forth his faithfulness. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. He will show forth his faithfulness. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. He will show forth his faithfulness. Just believe. Just believe. Is the way. Is the way. God's way. Now that this message has come to you, there is but one thing to do. Just believe. Just believe. Because faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. Faithful is the Lord. He will show forth his faithfulness. O oh God of heaven, I have made boasts, I have made boast of your name and of your faithfulness. And I have told your people to lay bare their minds to you and to pour out their minds unto you and to ask of you. Lord, I ask in your name 
show forth mightily. Show forth faithfully. Show forth. You will sit among the cherubims. Prove that you are God and God over the universe. Let them return to this altar with great testimonies, with shouts of joy. Thank you, Yeshua. Hallelujah! Put it in the chat box. Faithful is the Lord. Hallelujah. Put it in the chat box. Faithful is the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Now we take the last psalm and that is a psalm I so love. It is a psalm for we the early seekers. It's a psalm for we the early seekers. So it's a psalm I love so much and I implore you to also love that psalm. It's a psalm for early seekers, early risers, those of us who choose to wake up in the early part of the day to seek the face of the Lord. <sighs> Hallelujah. This Psalm 63 is also believed to have been written by King David during a time when he was a fogety from King Saul. When he was in the wilderness of Judah. When he was in the Judean desert. Yes. In the Judean desert. In the wilderness of Judah. Where he had fled from Saul on several occasions. And this wilderness could also refer to of course, you can check that 1 Samuel 22, 1 to 5, 1 Samuel 23, 14 to 29. Now, this could also refer to the wilderness of Syria where David may have traveled during his exile from Jerusalem. That's 2 Samuel chapter 15, 13 to 37. That will talk about his exile from Absalom. Now, this psalm speaks about David's thirst and hunger as he wanders in the wilderness, he longs for God's presence and salvation. Amen. And that was why he described, he used, he used as, as the deer pants for water to describe his longing for God. Are you also in the middle of one situation or circumstance and you are like, I wish, what you should wish is for you to have more relationship with the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, this psalm, um, I've told you, is either when he was a fugitive due to Saul's hatred or due to Absalom's austerity. Amen. And this should encourage you. It should encourage you. Either you are in the land of Moab, you are in the wilderness of Judah, you are in the wilderness of Syria. How symbolic it could be for your life. Always long for the Lord. Let's sing and pray from Psalm 63 as we bring to a close on this earth at the night. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek thee. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee in a dry and thirsty land. Where no water is. Don't forget it was in the wilderness. But this is what my soul is testing for. To see thy power and thy glory. So as I have seen thee in the sanctuary. I want to see your power and glory. My flesh longed for thee. My soul is thirsty for thee. Oh Lord, I want to see your power. I want to see your power and glory. My soul thirsted for thee. My flesh longed for thee. 
Oh Lord, I want to see your glory. To see thy power and thy glory. So have I seen thee in the sanctuary. Because thy loving kindness is better than life. My lips shall praise thee. Thus will I bless thee while I live. I will lift up my hands in thy name. My soul shall be satisfied with marrow and fatness. And my mouth shall praise thee with joyful lips. When I may remember thee upon my bed. And meditate on thee in the night watches. Because thou hast been my help. Therefore in the shadow of thy wings will I rejoice. My soul followeth art after thee. Thy right hand upholdeth me. But those that seek my soul to destroy it shall go into the lower parts of the earth. Can I hear you say amen? They will go into the lower parts of the earth. They shall fall by this word. They shall be a portion for foxes. <laughs> But the king, that's who you are. My name is King Adiola. I am the king of the king of kings. I'm the king of the king of kings. So, I, the king, shall rejoice in God. Everyone that sweareth by him shall glory. But the mouth of them that speak lies shall be stopped. Raise up your voice and declare. The mouth of the wicked against me stopped right now. These are but the last few prayers you are taking on this altar tonight. The mouth of the slanderers. The mouth of the slanderers. The mouth of the slanderers. Of the conspirators against me is stopped now. The mouth of the evil, the mouth of the wicked, the mouth of the liars, the mouth of those that are passing judgment against my life, their mouth is stopped right now. The, my, the mouth of my troublers, the mouth of my assailants, the mouth of the evil ones, the mouth of those who hate me for good, the mouth of those who are interested in pulling me down, their mouth is stopped right now. Are you praying? Skeriata. Shepuka bale susu frinde ki e ne rosku pele yana. E bale shale ke te ne ke te ke to sumbro kura de ko shepla nagata. Amana na 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 mana na mana ma. Akosu break it e ke te kash le andi. I stand upon the rock of ages and I declare in the name of Jesus. The mouth of the evil ones, of the slanderers, of those that are against you, of your troublers their mouth is stopped right now. Whatever has been their strength, we declare fails them. You are victorious. You are victorious. We can sing and pray with the Psalms of David this day because God gave David victory over all his enemies. I am declaring that generations to come will also sing of the great testimonies that the Lord is giving to you in the name of Jesus. Your troublers are troubled. If they are sleeping presently, in their sleep, trouble comes upon them. Oh, if they are awake presently, in their thought line, trouble comes upon them. In the, if, they are, if they are in their coven, if they are in their covens at this moment, I command fire upon them. Thank you, Yeshua. We are not a generation of the weaklings. We are not the generation of the fearful. We are the generation of the valiant, of the strong in the Lord. I am pushing the killing them. So your glory is above all the earth. 
Yes, your glory is above all the earth. Go to the chat box. Go to the chat box and put it there. The mouth of the liars is stopped. The mouth of the liars are stopped. The mouth of my judges are stopped. The mouth of my assailants are stopped. I am victorious. I am victorious. Put these declarations in the chat box. It is your declaration. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. I am victorious. So as you are dropping it there, oh yeah, begin to bless the channel too. Release the blessings of God upon the channel. Declare upon the channel that the channel increases in leaps and in bounds. Taking the gospel of the Lord Jesus round about the world. Bringing about the deliverance of the oppressed. Restoring the castaway back into the fold. Declare blessings upon the channel. You are exalted, O oh God, above all heavens. You are exalted, O oh God, above all heavens. You are exalted, O oh God, above all heavens. You are the most high and exalted, O oh God, above all heavens. Yes, your glory is above. All the earth, yes, your glory is above all the earth. See you tomorrow. Come early to the altar of intimacy. Invite people, like the video, and share the video across. Is there any day you have missed out on? Go back to the channel, you meet them there each day. Stream them and be blessed. And God bless you. Good night. We love you. The grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be we Grace of God and the love of Jesus and the fellowship and the fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us.